Whenever you're ready, Governor. Hi, I'm Peter Shumlin, Governor of the great state of Vermont, and I wish I could be with you in person today. I uh, can't tell you how proud I am of all of you for joining the Northeast Climate Change Preparedness Conference. As far as I'm concerned, there is no single challenge that is greater or more important than getting off our addiction to oil and as quickly as we know how, moving to more thoughtful and green ways of powering the future. As governor, I have now dealt with three climate change induced storms, one of which was Irene. We lost seven Vermonters to little teeny brooks that became raging rivers. We lost homes, we lost businesses. People watched everything that they knew they had materially wash down rivers. We lost over 500 miles of roads, 36 bridges in one storm. Why? Because we got 12 inches of rain in many parts of Vermont in less than three hours. I can tell you as a governor who was born and raised in the Northeast, in the state of Vermont, storms didn't used to happen that way. So as you bring together this conference today, know that I and others know that the generations that look a lot like me, gray, wrinkling, and growing older, have left the youth of, this, of the Northeast, the, the youth of our nation, and the youth of this globe an extraordinary challenge which is moving off of fossil fuels, our addiction to fossil fuels, moving to renewables, getting energy efficiency right, and ensuring that the choices that we make today about energy will be the right choices. If you told me as a high school student or a university student, uh, and it wasn't that long ago, you know the choices that we make in your lifetime will determine how livable this planet is for our kids and our grandkids, I would have said you're crazy. And I think most people would have thought that. So the fact of the matter is that if we can't find ways collectively to get our politicians, our community members, our citizens working collaboratively as fast as we know how to stop doing energy the way we're doing it and find a better way to do it, this planet will be unlivable, unspeakably horrid for future generations. You know, as we look at this issue, there are some who say climate change isn't man-made, it isn't induced by mankind, it has nothing to do with the choices we make. People often ask me, well, Governor, if you feel that passionate about moving the climate issue, what do you say to the critics who say this is all not true? My answer is this. We no longer have the time to debate whether or not climate change is a result of the choices that we've made. We don't have time. The fact of the matter is, we've got to focus our energy on moving much more quickly, much more rapidly, much more expeditiously, and much more creatively at getting it done. And you know what it does when we do? We create jobs and economic opportunities. In Vermont right now, we have the second lowest unemployment rate in America. I'm proud of that. That's because of, not despite, but because of the fact, one of the major movers of that is that we're moving Vermont to a green, clean, renewable energy future that's going to be 90% renewable by 2050. That's our goal and we're going to make it. And as we transform the energy, the way we produce energy in Vermont, the way we do energy efficiency, we're creating jobs that can't be exported to India or to China. So listen, I know your next speaker is uh, Lachlan Francis. Lachlan, uh, I had the pleasure of appointing to our State Board of Education as a high school student. He gets this climate change issue. I wish I could be here to hear him. You've chosen a great example of why I have so much hope that together with you and Lachlan and everyone at this conference, we can get this right, have a livable planet. Give it up to Lachlan Francis.